So, here's the score. I've got 250,000 European Wongas to work my magic with and find the winning overseas property. And I think I just found it. Shh, come on. It's nice, isn't it? I knew you'd like this one. Open plan living area. Look at this wooden unit. Solid. And plasma. Check it out. I wonder if I'll get it out under my arm. OK, so I've decided to leave the plasma. Well, then, no, it was me, wouldn't they? Next time. Nice kitchen, though. All the mod cons. It's even got a breakfast bar. And OK. I decided to have a glass of bubbly instead. Well, why not? I've earned it, haven't I? I'm on to a winner, eh? Here, come here. Let me show you the master bedroom. Massive wardrobe space. Nice sliding action. Big double bed. And then we go straight into the ensuite bathroom. What more could you ask for? It's lovely. I like this bedroom, because I'm rather partial to a twin. This is room number three. Will it be? Number one, the kids' room. Number two, the day room. Or number three, the guest room. The decision is yours. Follow me. I'm saving the best for last. I found a cheeky little roof terrace, and you'll love it. Now, this is quality, isn't it? But where in the world am I? Let's check out the clues. The carver. If you fancy a bottle of bubbly, but you don't want to splash out on champagne, a bottle of carver could be right up your street. It's made in this country, and drunk at local baptism celebrations. Even the baby gets a taster. Mmm, delicious! And the sombrero. You might think the sombrero is one of them wacky wide brim hats bought in the Mexican duty free. But the original sombreros were made in this country and a lot more tasteful. The name comes from this country's word for shade and they were made for the local vineyards to protect them from the hot sun. Well, have you guessed where I am yet? Well, it's time to spill the beans. I'm in Spain. The new development of Tercia Real is proving very popular with investors from around the world being snapped up. Now, if you want to see some traditional Spanish entertainment, then head to the town of Lorca, where you can visit a stud farm. This is a great day out, and even mixes flamenco-style dancing with dressage-style dancing. That might sound like a weird combination, but it looks fantastic, and the horses could dance better than me. And if bird life is more your thing, then the nearby National Park of Sierra de la Cumbres has its very own population of wild flamingos. If you're quiet, you can catch a glimpse of these beautiful birds sifting through the lakes for shrimps. But if it's nightlife you're after and not wildlife, then Lorca's a place to come. It's got some great restaurants tucked away in the old streets and squares, and it's a good place to come for tappers because every bar serves a speciality with each drink. Now if So, spend 250,000 European Wongas here, and you too could be sitting back with a glass of bubbly. I don't think this property can be beaten. Join us after the break to find out. <laughs>